Okay. So, hello everyone. <laughs> hi, Brittany. Atili, hi. Atitu, Tungo Sugit, Tungo Hugit. Um, I am Paige Kimmick Santa Krups. I am the program coordinator with the Toronto Inuit Association. Um, unfortunately, Brian and Makwa cannot join today, so I'm going to be leading a little workout. But I've got a special guest with me, Brittany Bergen. Um, we want to see everybody doing our workouts, and we thought a great way to do this would be to invite community members to join us on Facebook Live. So if you are interested in doing this, feel free to reach out to us. And uh, yeah, I don't know if Brittany, do you want to introduce yourself or <laughs> say anything? Just say hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice to see you. Um, so this is my first time leading a workout, of course. I'm usually used to Makwa doing all the, the intros and stuff, so I'll try my best. Um, so I want to start off by saying uh, thank you to everyone that's watching, thank you to Brittany that's joining us, and thank you to Sport Canada and Canadian Heritage for funding the Makitatsiatuk program. Um, so today it's leg day and I thought uh, one of my favorite workouts to do is like a, a glute burner, booty burner. So we are going to start with a warm up of a few exercises and then go into a circuit. Um, I think I'm going to make the circuit a little shorter than usual because it, it burns a lot and then we'll finish with a cool down. So I guess we'll get started. I'll see if this camera angle works. We're just going to start with 10 squats. We're going to make them a little different though and we're going to do a little bounce when we get down there. So you can go as far as you want or as not far as you want. So down and then you're going to go up, down, just like a little bounce. If you see that. So go down, go up a little bit, but not all the way. Down, up. Does that make sense? So we're just going to do 10 of those. So this is three. I'm going to do it for one minute. Yeah. <laughs> Four. Bounce. Five. So when you're doing this, try and make your back really straight. You don't want to be bending over like this. And to modify it, just go as low as you want or as high as you want. <laughs> okay. I feel like that's 10. <laughs> I understand Makwa when he like doesn't count now. <laughs> um, and he made a very clever comment since it's almost Halloween, burn your booty. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> so the next warm-up exercise, we are going to do 10 lunges. So five on each side. If you want to make it harder, you can use weights. I think I will just do regular ones though. And if you want to make it easier, you can put some sort of a pillow or a block down here just to support you if you don't want to go all the way down or feel a little uncomfortable. So five on each side. So one. I like doing them standing in one spot like this, not alternating, because then you can really focus on your form. And you want to make sure this leg does not go super far forward. You want to keep it at 90 degrees and then lower your back leg. So I think that was a little over five. Switch legs. <laughs> One, two, four. You can also hold on to something if you want, <laughs> as long as you don't lean over. So stay straight. So that's five of those. Already feeling warm. Make sure you hydrate. <laughs> So next, we're going to do some deadlifts. Um, again, to make these harder, you can use a weight, or you can just do it with body weight, or you could even do it with a resistance band if you want. So I'm going to use the only weights that I have, which are five pounds, <laughs> and we're going to do 10 of these. So you want to make sure your back is nice and straight, lift up.
I usually keep my legs shoulder width apart, maybe a little bit wider. And my physiotherapist told me to always, when you get to the knee, you want to follow the knee all the way down. Kind of like you're drawing a straight line. You can do these completely straight legged or you can bend your legs a little bit. And then squeeze your booty at the top. <laughs> Was it five? Ten. Okay. I stopped counting. <laughs> but I think I'm there. If you want to make it easier, do less. If you want to make it harder, do more or do a bigger weight. And that was three warm up exercises. Let me see, what's the fourth one we can do? <laughs> I think we will do just, uh, I call these inchworms. Let me see, maybe I'll do them this way. So you're gonna stand up straight, hands down, walk your hands out, walk your hands back in. So this is more of like a, a full body warm up, a little bit of cardio. So let's do, 10 of these as well. So that's two, three. If you wanna make them harder, what we used to do in gymnastics is try and reach out as far as you can without slipping. So like your arms are super stretched out. Let's see if I can go very far. <laughs> like this. Is that hard? Yeah, that's hard. <laughs> Try and push your palms into the ground so you don't slip. Another way to make it harder is to do a push up, but I don't like push ups, so I'm not going to do that. That was 10 or so, already sweating. I'm gonna grab a drink before we get into the workout now. I feel like that was a pretty good warm up because I am very warm. <laughs> How are you feeling, Brittany? Good. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna check any Facebook comments. Cool, cool. Woo, yeah, if you ever have any questions, Feel free to ask in the comments so you can try and get to your questions while we're still live. Whew. Okay, after a few breaths. So um, the workout we're doing is you do it on both sides. So I think we're only going to do three sets. So three on each side. It's mostly on your hands and knees because um, we're going to be doing donkey kicks and kicks like that. Um, and if that kind of hurts your knees, you can always put a pillow down. Um, if you want to do make it harder, you can use um, resistance bands or if you can figure out how to put a weight on, you can. <laughs> or you could just do more, of course. Um, so we're going to do four exercises. We're going to do them, I think, 15 times each should be good. Um, if you want to do more, you can. Um, so I think I'll tilt my camera down a little and then, are you ready, Brittany? Yes. <laughs> Once we get into the flow of things, we're gonna do the three rounds pretty fast. But the first one is gonna be donkey kicks. Maybe I'll turn this way. So go on your hands and knees. And then you wanna make sure your back is nice and straight. You don't wanna be like arching like this. <laughs> nice and straight back, looking forward. So you're gonna kick up uh, 15 times. Three, four. So you can keep your leg straight if you want, but I like to go up a little higher and bend my leg just for that extra workout. You wanna make sure you're not like opening your hips up. You wanna kinda of stay in a straight line the whole time, if that makes sense. 
Okay. Now we're gonna switch legs. Actually, no, sorry. Let's not switch legs. Okay. All on one side and then all on the other. So you feel that extra, extra burn. So after the donkey kicks, we're gonna do these kind of windshield wipers. So your foot is gonna go all the way from the back, all the way in front of you, as far as you can. Two, so 15 of these. Three, four, five, Seven, eight, and try and keep your leg as high as you can. You don't want to be dragging too close to the ground. If it's hard though, you can lower your leg. Okay, so after that, 15, we are going to do fire hydrants. So it's a little bit of a, a gross picture. <laughs> but you're like a dog peeing <laughs> on a fire hydrant. So 15 of those. Lift your head, leg as high as you want or keep it as low as you want. Oh, I'm so long, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, get harder or a little bit different by going on your elbows like this. Unfortunately, I have a little scrape on my elbow from doing all those planks on Wednesday. <laughs> so I like doing them like this. And our final exercise is gonna be side leg lifts. So you're gonna try and keep it as sideways as you can. From here, lift up. Like a little pulse. Three, four, five, six. If you want to be fancy, you can kind of draw a circle too. Okay. Now I am counting properly because it's hard and I want to get this over with. So that was 15 of each. I'm going to take a little sip before we do the other side. Okay, so once we get the hang of this, we want to do them all one after the next, so you don't take any breaks, unless you need to. <laughs> so we're going to start with 15 donkey kicks. Okay, and one tip about keeping square, this is something I like to do in all my exercises. What I mean by keeping square is that you're not like turning your hips back and forth. So what I like to think of is I have like two flashlights pointing straight out of my hips and the flashlights have to stay facing the ground the whole time I'm doing the exercise. If I kind of go sideways a little, then my hip turns out and then they're not staying square anymore. I don't know if that explains it, but <laughs> yeah. So we've done 15 of those. Now we are doing 15 windshield wipers. So my room is kind of small. Let's see if I can do it without kicking anything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, after those 15, we're going to do 15 uh, fire hydrants. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then finally, 15 kicks to the side. Try and stay 
as perpendicular as possible. Oh. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> I feel like my iPad has lower quality, so you can't see how red my face is. But now that I'm filming this on my computer, <laughs> very red faced. But that just means it's working, right? <laughs> so I think we'll take about a 20 second break. I'm just going to open my window. <laughs> How are you feeling, Brittany? Good, sweaty, damp. <laughs> <sighs> Do you feel confident in doing two more sets of that? Yeah, I just need to be more mindful of my hips. I think I'm like, especially where my leg is extended, I think I'm like swinging a little. Yeah, it's hard to like kind of <laughs> balance, right? Whew. Okay, are we ready for round two? Yes. Okay. Let's wear donkey kicks. Okay, after the 15 donkey kicks, it's 15 windshield wipers. I definitely don't always keep square or keep my back straight either. So I'm trying to remind myself that I'm kicking stuff. Three, Make sure to keep breathing. A good exercise to do is to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and kind of make it really loud. Like that. Stopped counting again. <laughs> And finally, the fourth exercise is the side kicks. That was a good one. Do <laughs> these as slow or fast as you want. Um, Makwa and Brian can tell you that I usually do my exercises super fast. <laughs> over with <laughs> but it's all up to you and we don't want to take too much of a break between each side so i'm going to get into it now with the donkey kicks 15 of these After those, we're going to do the side kicks. If your wrists hurt after a while, you can go on your knuckles. That often relieves some pressure. Or if you have yoga blocks as well. I'm going to stay on my flat hands so. though. And then 15 fire hydrants. Did I forget those last time? Can't remember. <laughs> okay, and finally the sidekicks. We 
do it. <laughs> Two out of three. <laughs> I feel like I may have forgotten something, but <laughs> we're doing donkey kicks, windshield wipers, uh, fire hydrants, and then finally the side kick pulses. Yeah, I don't know if we missed anything. I just kind of black out. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta focus on what you're doing for sure. Especially if I get the numbers wrong or something. It's better to just <laughs> be on your own game. So we'll take a few more seconds, maybe 15 more seconds before we get into the next round. <sighs> so your booty is gonna burn tomorrow, maybe even the next day. I'm not sure. We're gonna do a stretch at the end, of course. That's my favorite part. <laughs> Are we ready for round three, the final rounds? Donkey kicks. One, two. Some people like to do it with a weight kind of here. I am scared of dropping it. <laughs> also, of it being really hard. <laughs> so. And the reason you don't want to kind of slouch like this, you want to be engaging your core. Even though it's leg day, your core plays into every exercise, always. Now we're going to do our swipes, windshield wipers, trying to find a place where I'm not kicking anything. And one way to kind of keep square as well is to try and put equal pressure on both your hands. That's what, a good way of knowing that you're balanced. Okay, now we're gonna do fire hydrants. Shake my wrists out quickly. And finally, the side kicks or pulses. <laughs> you can see throughout the workout that my legs are getting lower and lower, <laughs> all the way up here to like here. <laughs> That's okay. Gotta listen to your body sometimes. So. Yes, a little bit of discomfort is good, but pain is not good. So if you feel pain, take a break, have some water, or do a few less. So now we're on to our other side. Last round, almost there. Words of affirmation. <laughs> <laughs> And windshield wipers. Oops. <laughs> and fire hydrants. And finally, side kicks. <laughs> Fifteen. <sighs> Yay, we did it. We're all in this together. <laughs> and <sighs> This isn't really an arm workout, 
but I feel like my arms are shaking after <laughs> staying like that for so long. Okay. Try and cool off a little. Take a breath and then we'll get into a cool down. Just gonna check the Facebook. Did that hurt your wrists at all? Um, it was okay because I was like, you know, bending my arms. Yeah. Um, I know some people <laughs> like the little mini bars to hold on to because that relieves some pressure. Or yeah, I don't have like the arm strength to keep myself stable. <laughs> like these could work. Um, or you could go on your elbows. Um, love to hear how other people feel about the workout. We used to do this at the end of gymnastics practice as a kind of like goodbye, <laughs> like leave you not in tears, but <laughs> tired for sure. I can't imagine doing this at the end. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This isn't super like a stretch or anything, but I think we'll just do 20 glute bridges, nice and slow, just to kind of target that area one last time. And then we'll do a few stretches. So try and keep my knees about shoulder width apart. If you want to make it harder, there are a few ways. You can go on your tippy toes and really squeeze at the top. Or even your heels. You can add a weight kind of on your hips. You can do it elevated with your feet up on top of something. This exercise is good because you can do it so many different ways. Just make sure to squeeze at the top. Really squeeze the whole way through. Engage all your muscles. And you don't have to go up super, super high. Everyone's at a different level. Everyone's glute bridges look a little different as long as you're engaging your core and squeezing your butt at the top. Okay. Didn't really count, but I think that was about one. <laughs> okay. So whew. I think we'll start this stretch. We'll do maybe three or four stretches. Start in butterfly. You can flap your wings a little bit. Um, you can put your feet as close to you as you want or a little bit out, whatever feels comfortable with you. I like to, you can use your elbows to push you down. I usually use my hands. Try and push your knees to the floor. You'll feel it kind of on your inner thigh and your glutes as well. And I also like to smell my toes. <laughs> Not actually, but just put your nose down to your toes. Also a good stretch. Okay, the next stretch we'll do. Um, I'm not really sure. I feel like this is either like swan or pigeon or something. But the way you're gonna do it. I don't really know how to describe this. Do you get it? <laughs> when you put your knee and your heel on the floor in front of you, and then your back leg goes straight behind you, turn your knee under like this. Like this. So it's kind of like a lunge, but you fell over. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Um, and this is a good stretch in itself. If you want to make it a little harder, you can lean forward, try and put your elbows on the ground. If it's a little tricky, you can put your foot a little closer here. If you want more of a stretch, you can kind of put your leg perpendicular like this. So we're going to hold this for 15 seconds. You can kind of rock back and forth and you'll feel the stretch in your thigh and glute. And a really good way to make the stretch even more targeted. 
So you see how my left leg is on the ground. I'm going to keep my right arm on the ground and I'm going to lift my left arm up and turn like this. So turn towards your knee, basically. I did an arm workout last night. Ooh. So it's like super stiff in my chest. This was nice. Can you put the other arm down and twist the other direction? So I'm on my left leg, so I'm gonna put my right arm down. Oh. Does that make sense? So then your belly button is facing your knee. And then I don't think I have that mobility in my <laughs> it's fine. You can do that. Yeah, yeah, like that. <laughs> Look up at your hand. It is quite a tricky stretch, so <laughs> I just feel like that's an extra stretch on my glute. So we're gonna switch sides now. So same thing, knee, heel, and then put your back leg out straight. This is a really good stretch because I went for a couple of bike rides yesterday well and then to make it trickier you can go on your elbows I'm gonna count to 15 like this and then to give myself an extra little stretch I'm gonna how my right leg is down, my left arm is down, and I'm lifting my right arm up and looking at my hands. So that really burns, like right here. Woo. When I do stretches, I always like to kind of rock back and forth too. Okay, I'm trying to think of a final stretch we can do. I think we'll just do a kind of sumo stretch um, at the end, like a sumo squat. So have your legs as wide as you want. I kind of have my knees facing, my toes facing like 45 degree angle. And I'm just gonna sit into it like this, hands here to support me. And sit as low as you want. I kind of go all the way down as far as I can but anywhere, as long as you feel a stretch. And, uh, I'm gonna rock back and forth. Ooh. Okay. Trying to think of other ways to stretch the booty, but I feel like that was good. Can you think of any stretches you like to do after a leg or booty workout? Yeah. Is it called like the like the needle threading the needle? Ooh, what's that one? Uh, it's where you're like on your back. Oh, and you put your leg up. Yes, and then pull through. Amazing, that's a great one. I think Mukwa calls it like a figure four. So yeah, cross, <laughs> and then you can grab anywhere. You can try and wrap your hands around like this. If that's tricky, you can just hold anywhere you can find. And then try and pull your knee in towards your chest. That's a great stretch. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> I always like lying down too, so. And if you want to make it even harder, while you're curling your back leg in, you want to be pushing this leg out, if that makes sense. So they're kind of pushing against each other. Really engaging that. I think it's called like active stretching where you're like really pushing like <laughs> muscles while you're stretching. So other side, cross your leg over, grab. It's kind of hard for me to really wrap my hands and like clasp them. So you can grab it anywhere really. And hold it for 
about 10 to 15 seconds. Looks good. Great stretch. Yeah, we kind of had our hips closed a lot of the time too, so stretching your hips is a good idea too. Whew. Well, I feel like that was a good 30, 40 minutes. How do you yeah. feel? <laughs> good. Looking forward to my shower. <laughs> I'm really sweaty. Um, yeah, so I guess this was the first time we had a guest on our workout, so thank you so much, Nekumik for being our first guest, Brittany. Um, yeah, we're looking forward to having other people join us. Um, if anybody wants to work out with us live, that'd be great. We would love that, love to see you all. Um, so I just wanna say again, thank you to everyone for watching. Thank you to the uh, Sport Canada and Canadian Heritage for funding the Ayungitut and Makitatiatuk program, which this is a part of. Um, in my regional dialect, Nubia Lichten, we say Kuyanaini. So thank you, Nakrumik Brittany, and we will see you on Monday for an arms and upper body workout. Have a good weekend, everyone. Thank you. Bye.